this video is going to show you a great option for using buzzers for a live game activity. You can use this digital buzzer online or with students in person. An easy way to get to this site is to just type in crowd buzzer in Google and go to the crowdcontrolgames.com page right here. That'll bring you to this page and you don't have to go here first, but the reason I wanna show it to you is so that you can see all the directions. It gives you step-by-step -step how to use it, how to set it up and the link to send to students. As the host or the teacher who is setting up the game, I can click on this to host a game. When it initially opens, you're gonna be asked to give your game a title. So let's say we're playing a Jeopardy review and then click begin. Right away, it gives you a game code that you will end up sharing with students. Now going back to the initial site I showed you, you're gonna send students or players to this link and then they're gonna enter that game code that you have right here. And then the students will click join. And then you can have them be on a team or individual players. Students will enter their name or team name and select enter. Now that I'm here, I can go ahead and click the red button to buzz in as a student. On the teacher version, the name pulled up right away. With split screen mode on, I'm gonna enter a second student and I'm gonna go ahead and click that buzz again. And as you can see, it's in real time, it pops right in there. What I really like about this is very quickly, I can turn this off and you can see it resets. It grays out the student version. And as I turn it back on, ready for the next question, the student is ready to buzz in again. And again, you have both students in there again. I hope you like this option. It just seems really fun and really quick and super easy. No accounts needed. And then when you're done, you can just log out. Enjoy playing with CrowdBuzzer.